Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to talk a lot about RN salary figures. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average RN salary in the United States in 2020 was $80,010 and the average RN hourly wage was $38.47. Now, every time we release these statistics, people will say, no, that's inaccurate. That's not how much I make. But you have to keep in mind that these numbers are the national average. An average is when you take all the salaries or wage data, you add those numbers together, and then you divide by the total number of figures in your data set, and that gives you the average. Obviously, some RNs are going to make a lot more. Some RNs are going to make a lot less. It depends on things like where you live, your education, your years of experience, and the industry in which you work, and so forth. And I'm going to talk a lot more about that and show you the salaries for all 50 states for registered nurses in just a moment. Now let's take a quick look at the median RN income. And when we talk about median, what we're talking about is the middle number of assorted data set. So the median RN salary in 2020 was $75,330 and the median RN wage was $36.22. The Bureau of Labor Statistics also publishes percentile data. So for example, if you earn $116,230 per year or $55.88 per hour, only 10% of RNs made a higher salary than that in the US. Now, some of you might be wondering whether the coronavirus pandemic had any effect on RN salaries, and here's your answer. I took the average RN salaries for the past five years, which you can see here, and I calculated the percentage increase from year to year. In 2018 and 2019, there was a little over 2.5% increase from the previous year, but 2020 saw a 3.29% increase from 2019. However, there is one thing that you're going to want to keep in mind, and that is all of the salary statistics that I've been showing you in this video are based on the latest data available, which is in May of 2020. And here in the U.S., that's really when the pandemic was just starting to crank up. And so it's going to be interesting over the next year or two to see how the pandemic has affected RN salary growth from year to year. Now let's take a look at how much money registered nurses made on average in each of the 50 states, including U.S. owned territories such as Guam and Puerto Rico. And as you look at this quick map, you can see the darker shades of purple represent the states that paid more on average and the lighter shades are states that paid less on average. The state with the lowest average salary was Alabama, which paid registered nurses an average salary of $60,230 and an average wage of $28.96 whereas the top paying state was California, which is pretty usual, and they paid an average RN salary of $120,560 and an average wage of $57.96. Now I'm gonna show you the salary information for all 50 states, and you can hit the pause button on your screen or check out our website to look at the numbers in more detail. And as you're taking a look at these, I will just say that one thing a lot of people say when they look at these different figures from state to state is they will say, hey, we are packing up and moving to California or Hawaii because those two states pay registered nurses an average of over $100,000 per year. However, before you pack your bags and move, you really have to do your homework because some states have a totally different tax structure. They might have a lot more taxes than you're used to paying now and the general cost of living like groceries, electricity, so forth. So you really have to do your homework and crunch the numbers to see if it makes sense. Now, as you can see, the salary numbers are quite a bit different from state to state, but the Bureau of Labor Statistics also takes a look at metropolitan and non-metropolitan areas, and they calculate averages for those areas as well. The top paying metropolitan area for registered nurses was the San Francisco, Oakland, Hayward area in California, which paid a whopping average salary of $149,200 and an average wage of $71.73. The lowest paying area reported by the Bureau of Labor Statistics was Joplin, Missouri, which paid an average salary to RNs of $48,210 and an average wage of $23.18. Again, those numbers are only averages. Some nurses make more, some nurses make less in those particular areas. 
Now let's take a look at some of the top paying industries for registered nurses. And you have to keep in mind here that not all nurses work in an actual hospital setting. Sometimes registered nurses will work in the pharmaceutical industry or in business support industries or for the federal government, for example. And the top paying industry for registered nurses was the business support services industry. And they paid RNs an average of $106,670 and an average wage of $51.28. However, only 560 actually worked in that industry. The federal executive branch of the government was the second top paying industry, and they paid RNs an average salary of $96,230 and an average wage of $46.26. Finally, let's take a look at some of the salary figures for where most nurses tend to work here in the United States. And the industry that had the highest employment numbers was the general medical and surgical hospitals industry. And they employed some 1,729,200 RNs here in the U.S. And we see that the average salary here was $81,680 with an average wage of $39.27. The offices of physicians industry was the second highest for employment numbers of RNs, and this industry employed an estimated 192,300 RNs in the U.S., and they paid an average salary of $71,660 and an average wage of $34.45. Okay, that wraps up this video over RN salaries. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe.